Hey, what the f is you all on? Hey, 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 man, let him go. Hey, he was getting let his own car. Let him go. Hey, 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 bro, look. Hey, let him go. Use my car. Let him go. Hey, let him go. They already tried. Let him go. Hey, let him go. Oh, we can say Laugh. I'm recording y'all. Hey, hey, what's all on? Hey, man. Hey, we should beat they. We should beat they. Oh. Hey, man. You ain't gonna do my cousin, man. Hey, we brought the police in this bitch. Hey, man. 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 The nigga was trying to get in his own f car. Hey, man, to go. Let him go. They laugh. Hey, 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 you dumb motherfucker! That's his own car! You stupid motherfucker! They got guns out of shit! Right! Right! Hey! Why you hey! That was his car! You stupid motherfucker! That's his own car! Dumb You That's his car! Hell yeah! I got the ass on laugh! I got. I got I'm going to give you the rest of the details, but before I do, I want to just say this. Name calling, shouting, yelling, calling the cops stupid. Not helpful, but true. <laughs> what are we supposed to do with these people? Detroit police officials investigating this video from a Facebook Live showing two Detroit officers wrestling with a black man for breaking into a vehicle as a crowd shouts to let him go. That vehicle, as the crowd repeatedly says, belongs to the man. Detroit Police Chief James White said Monday the officers were patrolling the area when they spotted the man trying to break into a car using a tool fashioned to open block vehicles. The Detroit News with the details. One officer asked the subject for his name and the subject refused to provide it. White said in a statement, for reasons that are not entirely clear, it appears that other individuals at the location were encouraging the subject not to provide his name. I didn't see that part of the footage. Maybe they have body cam. Well, for now, we'll just have to take the police statement, the police word for it. Yeah, okay. Officer then informed the subject that he was being detained. Subject then became extremely irate. And there came a point when he appears to direct another individual to let a pit bull loose against the officers. Now, I wonder why they wouldn't release that. Wouldn't they release that in their body cam footage and stuff? I didn't see any of that. One point after the initial. Officers call for backup. The officers who are there pin the man to the ground, restricting his breathing as he resists the arrest. An officer also draws his firearm to threaten the crowd. Same officer later shows off his bite wound from the man to the crowd as they're trying to explain the man's story to the other officers, to which they remind him that he was choking the man. Now, the man, as seen in the video, locked himself out of his car. And attempted to re-enter it. Officers attempted to handcuff the man who was wearing a Black Lives Matter hoodie. Ah. After he ran onto a porch of a house, one officer was even seen on the footage pummeling the man as they grabbed him. Atlanta Black Star filling in more for us. As the scuffle escalates, the officers request backup, and within minutes, two more officers arrive on the scene. One officer draws his firearm in an attempt to control the crowd. Despite their efforts, the crowd continues to tell them they are making a mistake. He, the man, was arrested but not charged. Two of the officers are on administrative duties during the ongoing investigation. This is um, well, more ludicrous behavior, okay? If this weren't so serious and disruptive and violent, and by the way, why are you pulling out your gun? That's helpful, yeah, okay. But it's violent, and if it weren't so disgusting, it would almost be a not so funny old SNL skit. Someone with a hanger trying to, a black man, and then everybody swarms him, asks questions. Nope, we'll just arrest him and beat him up in the process. 
That's how dippy, dumb, ludicrous this is. These are the best and the brightest, the heroes. All you do is say, hey, what are you doing? Can we help? And if he was not a criminal, he might have said, sure, I'm locked out, officers. Do you maybe have a way to help? Isn't that the way it's supposed to work, Yasmin? Or I guess not anymore, not ever. Yeah, I mean, whenever you introduce guns into a situation, all of a sudden, any kind of normal modes of communication go out the door. I don't think I would be able to communicate effectively with somebody who I knew was coming at me in a threatening way with a gun in his pocket, right? And you mentioned earlier that we just have to take the the cop's word for what happened. But since when is a cop's word more valuable than what we can actually literally see with our own eyes on video? You know, whenever white people say things like, oh, black people should just comply with the cops, black people are literally just trying to exist in this world the way that anyone else would. This is a very relatable experience and situation that this guy was in, getting locked out of your own car. I cannot even imagine being handcuffed in front of my own house, trying to get into my own car. And not just handcuffed, but as you said, it was a very violent scene. This man was attacked. He was physically assaulted by cops who were packing deadly heat. And even with the bystanders attempting to explain that this was his own car, the cops still chose to escalate the conflict even after they were informed that there actually is no conflict at all. And how many cops were there? You know, like, and Republicans want to talk about how police budgets aren't big enough. How many cops were needed at this scene when nothing was happening? Yeah, and this was in Detroit. Okay. Henry Louis Gates could tell us it happens everywhere. Okay. No matter what you've achieved, remember? Wasn't the professor just trying to get into his own house? Okay, forgot his key, locked himself out, whatever. Maybe if you approach someone and just ask some questions, it's better for everyone involved. You're right. Don't tell me I should comply. <laughs> Whether you comply or not, you'd probably be taken to the ground. Is this safe for officers, this kind of behavior? Is it even safe for them? No. We'll keep following that one. No charges. Okay, lawsuit time. 